What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So in today's episode, I'm gonna give you four simple solutions to keep your indoor grow area pest free. So stay tuned. So the first thing that you wanna keep in mind when you're going into your grow area is that when you've been outside or in a garden, or especially if you've been to a grow store, change your clothes. Now when changing your clothes, it's important to remember to also change your shoes. Now the reason why that's important is mainly because when you're walking around, you're picking up a lot of microscopic things, including you know, the possibility of mites or other kinds of bugs that are very, very small on your shoes, especially, and I mean this especially, if you go to a grow store. If you're going to a grow store, you gotta think that everybody else that's going into that store that has a garden or a grow area are also going back and forth introducing those things into that store. So make sure you change your clothes, make sure you change your shoes, that way you keep pests from being entered into your grow area. So the next thing to keep in mind is to have some type of spray to disinfect your grow area. Now I typically use a bleach in water and an alcohol in water, two different types that are gonna kill two different things or some of the same things but in different ways. But I usually keep a bottle of each around and I typically go with approximately one third to one quarter solution to water ratio of either bleach in water or alcohol in water. And I use at least a 70% or higher on the alcohol. And what that's going to accomplish is making sure, number one, that you take your plants out of the room before you start spraying these. You don't want this getting on your plants. This can create phototoxicity like we have in this video right here. You don't want to, things to get phototoxic. You don't want to burn your plants with a harsh chemical. So you want to make sure to take your plants out for maybe outside if it's a nice day or out of that area temporarily until these things that you're using to clean your area, which I try to get as much of the floor as possible and any surfaces, including the walls of your grow area, as well as any tables or anything else that could possibly collect or have bugs on them in your grow area because they will crawl everywhere and make sure to clean those off and sanitize them properly. I would suggest at least every one to three months making sure that you clean your grow area, um, especially after harvest. If, if you've harvest, clean your grow area before you're gonna introduce new plants into that area. The next step is going to be keep your pets away from your grow area. We love our pets. Our pets are the greatest, but the biggest issue that can happen with pets is that as they're wandering in and out from outside to inside, they can be carrying with them inadvertently pests attached to their fur and hair and bringing that into the house or bringing that into your grow area. So although you may have a perfect guard dog to keep people away from your grow area to make sure everything stays safe, you definitely don't want them immediately around that area where your plants are. They can introduce on one and bugs. And the last and most important thing is that there is a difference between growing from seed and growing from clone. So when you grow a clone, that clone has come from an environment that is specifically tailored to making sure it's perfect for plant growth. If it's perfect for plant growth, it's also perfect for bug growth. I guarantee you, if you've bought clones from somebody who really knows what they're doing, they already have an IPM system in place, IPM, in place to make sure that their pest population is at a minimum. The problem with that is, is that even if it's at a minimum, you could be bringing that clone home and introducing it to your grow area. So you have to make sure that if you bring a clone home, that you are making sure to pay attention to every single part of that plant, that you don't have any mites or bugs by using a jeweler's loop or using a pocket microscope with a light on there to make sure that your plant is completely pest free as much as you can possibly check for. So when it comes to seeds, seeds is a completely different ball game because the seed is gonna be completely pest free. It's not living so there's nothing growing on it. So when you have a completely new grow area and you, and you get your soil and you get your pots ready and then you plop those germinated seeds inside there, there is no introduced pest. You're gonna start off with a very fresh, very sterile grow area because you're starting from seed and there's nothing growing in that, in that area or plant or place because there's nothing living quite yet 
Make sure to like if this brought you some value. Subscribe if you're interested in seeing more videos just like this one, and we'll see you in the next one.